All right, well, I did something either extremely stupid or extremely smart. I just purchased the cheapest new car in America. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how much we paid for it. But you'll be amazed because it's so cheap. And we found it of all places here at the auction. And um, well, it's electric, Tommy. You wanna tell them a little bit about it? I did it, I bought it. F this? Yes. This is what you bought? I bought this, I bought the Candy K27. Candy is a really interesting little company. So a couple of years ago, there were all these big headlines. Company coming out with car that's gonna be $7,000 after tax credit. It's a fully electric car. They went through EPA certification for range and efficiency. And then the company just kind of, well, went out of the limelight. And as far as I know, they didn't sell hardly any of these. And this car is brand new, unsold with 27 miles on it. Look at that. Look at all that electric goodness, Tommy. Now, I don't know much about candy, but I do know that when you can get a brand new car for, well, I'm gonna tell you, less than $10,000, you're doing pretty well. So uh, let's do a bit of a walk around. Uh, it certainly has some high performance tires. Uh, these are uh, maximum, what are they called? Maximum uh, double stars, Tommy. The double stars. The maximum double stars, yeah. Uh, and I think they're, uh, 165, 65, oh, they're 14 inch wheels. So when Candy came out with the range number on this car, yeah. they said 100 miles, Yeah, 100 miles of range. That's okay. Amazing, so this was like $12,000 before the tax credit, $13,000. Yeah. And then the EPA said, no, it's not 100 miles of range. No. The EPA said, heck no, it's actually 59 miles of range. So what do we got? So 59 miles of range, it's got a 17 and a bit kilowatt hour battery. So it's a pretty small little car. Wait, wait, that's a problem because we got to drive it back to the office. Yes. And it might be close to, what do you think? 30 like miles. 30 miles. And it's been sitting for well over a year unsold. But let me, let me walk you through the candy, right? All right walk us through the candy because it may have been something very stupid now. So here's the thing. Candy was like, this car, we're going to pass all the crash tests. You're going to be able to drive it anywhere. Top speed, 63 miles an hour. And as far as I know, that's not true. I don't think that this car actually did all of the things it was supposed to do. It does have a cool name, K27. That's a terrible name because they did one called the K23, which was way more expensive. Why is it? What does a 27 mean? It's got parking sensors. Look, look, look at backup look. camera. Hang on, okay. hang on. We got to peel off the. Oh, you get to peel it off. It's brand new. Brand new backup look camera. At, look at this. For uh, all the money that we paid, we even get a charger with it. it rust. <laughs> oh, trust. And look, it says trust, so it's got to be good. Let's see. It's got a real trunk. Well, it has a trunk. It comes with a uh, little green thing. What's under here? It's under the floor. I'm worried that that's structural. I think that foam might be structural to the chassis, Dad. Look at that. Multifold. Multifold seats with child anchors. Look at this. It's got the. Uh, look at that. It's got little. Uh, little hooks. Little, well, it's broken. Oh, there. No, there it goes. Look it. at that. It's got a little hook. So if you're a businessman and you're out there trying to sell, you know, more candies. You can hang your slip. Look at, not, these are, they have not even been. It's got real seat belts. Look at, look at that. Look at, I get to take that off too. Check this out then. Yeah. Oh! Look at that. Rear oh, seat folds. Fold it forward again, would you? And reclines. Fold it forward. There's a triangle there, look. Oh, we got a triangle. Yeah. Right Holy there. moly. Yeah, a triangle. Wow. When we get stuck on the way home. This car really was intended for mass market sale. And there's a couple of reasons you know that. If this was intended to be some golf cart thing, it well, wouldn't have an airbag. But this car does in fact have airbags, one for the driver and one for the passenger. Power windows and power door locks. Steering wheel buttons with volume, phone connectivity. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. We have air conditioning. Heater, and look at the screen. But we have no, uh, we have no park. So yeah, the controls park, reverse, neutral, drive, and sport. And then the, to put it in park, you put it in neutral and then put the parking brake on. Should nope. we see if it starts? We have no owner's manual. No owner's manual. That's bad. Let's see if it starts. Okay. How will you know? Oh, it booted up. Look at this, we got a gauge cluster with a tachometer for some reason. I don't know why that is. And then you can see miles an hour with 60 and then 60 it turns red. 
and like there was a lot of attempt to make this car legal for U.S. roads. Are we going to be able to make it home, you think? Will it make it? I hope so. Should we take it on the highway, or is it? does it go slower than that? Well, so the initial reviews, when, when yeah. Candy was letting people drive this car, yeah. it would do 63 miles an hour. Uh -huh. But from what, as far as I can tell, they never sold the 63 mile an hour one, and they limited it to 35. Ooh. Um, I, I don't know, Tommy. I don't know if I bought, you know, an expensive go-kart or the coolest, cheapest electric new car in the world. It's got airbags. Yeah, it it's does. It's a safe vehicle. Does it have cruise control? It, it does not have cruise control. All right. Well, should we try taking it for a spin? Let's take it for a spin. Howdy, folks. Nathan here with fantastic news because I bring you the Henry Ford Estate Ford Bronco Raptor giveaway. Enter for your chance to win a 2023 Ford Bronco Raptor with the Lux Package. Rolling on 37-inch tires, this Bronco is powered by a 3-liter twin-turbo EcoBoost V6, good for 418 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque. Its 10-speed automatic transmission and 4.7 axle ratio is ready to fly down sandy washes or crawl over the toughest terrain. The Lux package adds a kickin' 10-speaker B&O sound system and adaptive cruise control. Nice. We at TFL have spent plenty of time in the Bronco Raptor and can attest to its capability for adventure and its position as one of the world's best off-roaders. Heck, Andre even jumped it. Entry support Fair Lane, the former home of Clara and Henry Ford. Now a National Historic Landmark, Fair Lane is an independent nonprofit organization that raises funds to restore and reimagine Fair Lane. Your support of the Bronco for Fair Lane sweepstakes will enable an award-winning team to preserve the home and illuminate the legacy of Clara and Henry Ford for future generations. Click on the link below for your chance to win a Ford Bronco Raptor and support a great cause, Fair Lane, the former home of Henry Ford. It is a little silly looking, isn't it? It is incredibly narrow and incredibly tall. Yes. Um, and actually very comfortable. Look how we actually fit in here pretty good. I know, it's really comfy. Should we see if it does a burnout? Yeah, try a burnout. Okay, we're going to do a burnout. We're going to do a burnout. Putting it in sport mode. There's no sport mode. There is a sport mode. Oh, There is a sport mode. S? No, it won't do a burnout. It won't do a burnout, no. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's see if we can drive it home. Look, look, when I close the door, look at this. I'm not sure about the crash standards, Tommy. The door is a little... Uh, it's a little uh, squishy. A little flimsy. It's a little squishy. Hey, hey Tom, you sure you don't want to take the uh, Silverado EV? <sighs> <laughs> it's not too late. It doesn't have the same character as the candy. And did you see this, Dad? So you plug it in here at the nose, and look at this, it uses a standard J1772 plug. It's not some weird homemade thing. I mean, this car really felt like it was pretty close to hitting the... Okay, that's not great. Really close to hitting the market. You know, uh, you know what they say about the Candy K27, Tommy? Uh, nothing, because no one has said anything about the they Candy. They say it's the i3 of the Candy lineup. Oh, yes. It was that far ahead in its uh, engineering true. and its styling. I mean, um, you know, it's got this, well, let's face it, I think the designers use a spatula uh, as inspiration for the, uh, for the front fascia. Yeah, and cardboard, clearly. I have to say, Tommy, um, it does have everything you need and nothing you don't. So, question is, the air, I don't even want to try, oh, we got to try the air conditioning. Sure, we'll try the AC Let's system. try the air, see if it works. Look at this. So, Dad, Whoa. this car has 40, 27 miles on it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yes. It's brand new. Brand new. Cheapest yep. car in America, I'm telling you. And um, the range number right now says 96 miles of range at 83% state of charge. So, that should get us to the office. Okay, hold on, Dad. We're making a merge. That was the uh, K27S had the volume knob. Oh, yes, okay. Okay, I'm going into drive. Full throttle, 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. Oh, it just hit a wall. Is that our fastest? 35. We got a 35 mile an hour top speed. That's it, Dad. Feels faster than this. Hey, cold air, dude. Ah, we got AC. We got AC. Look at that. Oh, very good. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it off. So it, it only goes 35 is what it's limited to. Can we jailbreak it? That would be pretty cool. We gotta jailbreak this thing. We gotta jailbreak this thing. Definitely, that is that is the next video, jailbreaking the candy. Dear God, that we're on a 50 mile an hour road. People do like 70 here. We're doing 34. I think we're gonna take the back roads home. Oh my gosh. Hey, maybe we've got regen, Tommy, because we're already at 80%. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. We're going over the bridge go, here. Go over the bridge and see if we have regen. Okay, ready? I'm gonna let off. Oh yeah, look! 
negative 34 amps, negative 32. We have region. It's got region, baby. Oh yeah, that's why it's the I3 of the uh, candy lineup, Tommy. It's got uh, 20 pounds. Oh yeah, it's gonna hurt our range, Dad. Fill that puppy up. You think she'll off-road? <laughs> Probably. Front wheel drive? Oh yeah. It smells a little bit like a trash can in here. <laughs> All right, so we've got 79% state of charge. We've got 1.6 miles. We got a lot longer to go, Dad. Does it tell you how many uh, kilowatts it's using per mile? Well, no, but we can see we're pulling almost 50 amps trying to get up this hill. That's not very good for efficiency. No. Look, speed limit here is 30. We got power to spare, Dad. It does feel a little golf cart-like when you're driving it. Yeah, and I will say the ride's gotten a lot worse now that there's the proper amount of air pressure in the tires. It's gotten a little bouncier. It's gotten a little bouncier. But that means we got more range. I just still can't believe that they had intended this to sell this to everybody with airbags and uh, hazard lights and AC and heat. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I, I, yeah, it does have heat. There's a button that says heat here. Yeah, we've got heat. We've got full... I mean, you know, like I've driven a couple neighborhood electric vehicles, yeah. right? And they really do feel like golf carts, kind of like side by sides. Right. This feels like it's trying to be a car. Do you think it has crumple zones like a car? No. I think we're the crumple zones. I think our legs are the crumple zones. Exactly. <laughs> so the drive home on the highway usually takes about 25 minutes. Yeah. We'll be home in an hour. Is that what it says? Yeah, so buckle up. I'm buckled up. Yeah, you better be, because if we hit anything larger than an ant, we're going to need them. that only goes uphill. Yeah, that is pretty um, pretty mysterious, Dad. And we've gone 4.7 miles and we have used 10 miles of range. So we are burning through this little battery. We've got uh, another uh, 23 miles to go. Yep, um, but you know what? It's actually doing pretty well. It's a little bouncy and a little tinny, but it's got a good radio. It's uh, got really good steering and it's got good brakes and it regens. I mean, it's basically a Model S Plaid. Let's face it, people are going to call this a golf cart, but a golf cart has lead acid batteries, right? This has lithium ion? I think it's lithium ion or it might be LFP. Okay. I'm not sure. Um, but it's got power windows, it's got a heater, AC, it's got real interior panels, it's got airbags. Most, uh, most importantly, it's got hazards. I keep talking about the airbags because I'm worried that. Um, it's going to blow up? Yes. I'm worried that that might be the death of me and I hope we never have to use them. You know, if this thing did 60. And as long as you signed the waiver saying I wouldn't care if I died in an accident with a bee, this would be a really popular car because it was like 12 grand, maybe 13 in before the tax credit, which at the time was $7,500. It was before the whole thing went revamped. So it's been a lot of car for, for a lot of people if you know your tax liability was, was such. You know, this would be a great little car if you live on an island. You know what I mean? And you need to put around in the grocery store. Oh, I'm driving this thing everywhere, Dad. Really? Is this going to be your new ride? Oh, yeah. I'm taking it all over Boulder. We're commuting in it. We're taking it to the airport. I, I, I can just imagine the uh, call to the insurance agents. Uh, you bought a what? Yeah. A candy K27. Uh, let us look that up in a what? Hey, we're going downhill. What's your top speed? 50. Holy moly. 55. So we've gone from four lane roads to two lane roads. <laughs> this is just torture. I mean, I could have gotten home faster on my bicycle. Oh, I hate this. this... I'm, I'm not talking about my electric bicycle. I'm talking about my regular oh, mountain bike. We got hazards on, and, and it's just horrible. You just feel the anger of the Coloradans behind us. Yeah. All the goodwill we're using by saving the environment ruined. You think 35 is fast when you're on a bicycle? It does sound quite fast, but when you're on a 45 on our road. Yeah. How many people are behind? It's like, you know what? We're like those British caravanners in their little uh, diesel Hyundai towing way too much. I don't even know how many people are behind us. It's got to be millions. Uh, luckily, we're almost back to. Um, 
boulder and the two lane and even start passing us. We're gonna get a lot of honks coming. Look, look, look over there. Just, just look away. Look, look, look over there. Look, there's it's a, a red light. Trees. Oh no. Oh, people are going to come up to us. I sorry. know. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Terrible little car. Yeah. Let's do 60. It's fast. Zero to five. Zero to 20. Look, we kept up with that Subaru. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. That's us. Sorry. Okay. All right. Last big hill. Back to the office. Do you think we spent too little or too much? Anything is too much for this. Yeah, we may have spent too much. For this experience, this is horrible. Uh oh, we got another one lane. Now we're in the bike lane. I know. Well, we have to be like a leaf. We bought a car worse than a leaf. We could have bought a leaf for this, for what we spent on this. We should have. It wouldn't have been brand new, but it would have kept up with traffic. Up the hill. And then two lane and then we're good. Well, we got a huge downhill. And then we're home free. And then we'll go to the office and tell you how much we paid for it. And then jailbreak it. If you help us. We got some kind of warning light here. Oh, gee. Oh, no. What do you think that means? I don't know what that we means. We got a battery. Now, oh, it's, now it's chiming. Now it's beeping at us. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it overheat? Did we overheat the battery? Up that big hill? It's possible. Oh, it stopped chiming. No, that was just no, a turn chiming. Are we on fire yet? We have to get on fire next. Unlock it just in case. Unlock it just in case we have to get off. Well, we don't have an owner's manual, Tommy, so I don't know what that chiming means. Two red lights, so it can't be anything good. No. Come on. We're almost to the office. We're almost there. We're like a mile away. <sighs> Not good news there, Dan. No. Oh, no. It's, it's dead. Is it? Yep. We lost power? It's not moving. Okay, pull over here. Nothing? Nothing. It's blinking. It's broken down. Like a mile from the office. All right, well, at this point, we should probably tell you how much money we spent on this. We're uh, wasted at this point. 2.1 miles from home, and it's broken down. And we spent $5,000 on this heap. Uh, and I'm sure you can take it to the candy dealership, what, in Denver to fix it? Oh, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's um, let's get tow strapped and tow it home. Is there even a, a way to tow it? Probably. Tow it by the headlight. I don't care at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to tow it by? There's a tow hook. Yeah. So it's got a tow point. Now we know why it comes with all this. Uh... Look at that. They knew what they were doing, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Toe hook! Look, Tommy, this is made for much skinnier people than me. Another carburetor? Dad, this is no time for jokes. We are stranded on the this side is, of the road. This is, this is the best time for jokes. Okay, well, let's do this. Do you want to wait here? I'll go with Brendan. I'll get the toe strap. Why am I waiting here? I'll go get it. You're in the, you're in the vest. Go, no, you, no, you can I, wait no, here. You put the vest no, on. you got the vest. I'll go get the toe strap. Oh, for God's sakes. So I, uh, I pulled the tow bolt battery. I have experience with being stuck in electric vehicles. So I pulled the 12 volt. Open it just in case we get power now. So that usually resets the system. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. The old man's got the magic touch. Uh oh, it just, it just slowed down and started beeping again. At least we're still driving. We're still still moving at least, not very fast. But we're moving. Come on! But it's got the motor now. The motor's also now throwing a code. So now we... Oh, it's not moving.
Now at this point, the car said that it had well over 50% charge, but these cars do have a thing called the BMS, the Battery Management System, which is what basically tells the car how much energy is in the battery. Now it could be that the car is broken, or it could be that the car thinks it has more power than it really has. In fact, maybe the battery is dead and the car just doesn't know it. You're very annoyed. Well, of course. What do you think? I just spent $5,000 on a car that took a dump 20 minutes after we bought it. It's not ideal, Dad. Oh, it's just going real, real downhill real quick. Did you get the thing? Look, it's worst comes to worst, we'll put an LS in it. We'll make it do really big burnouts. You know, if worst comes to worst, we're gonna get some guns and shoot it at the ranch. That's what we're gonna do. Even better. Maybe it's bulletproof. Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that, look how well that works. That's good. Honestly, Dad, I was looking around in the forums. Yeah. I can't find a single other one that's been delivered. Yeah. We could have the only candy. It's the non-runner now. It's a piece of history. No, it's a piece of junk. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's a piece of history! It's a piece of junk, that's what it is. A brand new strap, brand new car. It's a good day, huh? Not a good day. It's a bad, it's one of the worst days of the week. I'd say it's one of the worst days of the year. We just took $5,000 and went boom, 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 right in the fireplace. Actually, after auction fees, more like $5,600. On the plus side, though. Yeah. Here's the plus side. What's that? We got a temporary tag so we can drive it around on the road. <laughs> <laughs> To, uh, to be continued, huh? To be continued. To be continued, yeah. Thanks guys for joining us. Right now, um, I feel like this is gonna become target practice at the ranch, but if Tommy's right, uh, we may have a vehicle that actually runs. Uh, but the battery says 57%, uh, so you think that, that beeping sound would've been like a warning, like plug it in now? It could be, like a low battery warning. Could be, or not. Did you tell them how much we paid for it? I did. Remember, we said five thousand dollars plus. Wait, what a deal, huh? Yeah, plus auction fees and everything. So like five thousand six hundred. Yeah. All right, guys. Sorry to leave you hanging, but come back next time when we find out if we just took five thousand dollars and threw it in the incinerator, or if we indeed did uh, buy a car that thinks the battery uh, is at fifty-seven percent when it's completely empty. As always, check out alltfl.com for more TFL misadventures. Ciao.